The government has not given a clear answer when asked if it will stick to Beijing's order to eliminate subdivided flats. But Deputy Financial Secretary Michael Wong was clear on one thing. Quarantine facilities will not be converted into public housing units. Here's Macy Mock again. Two years ago, Xia Baolong, the head of Beijing's Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office, said the SAR should eliminate subdivided flats. Officials were asked today if this remains the goal, as there are mixed signals from the policy address, with the new task force set up to consider the standard for living conditions in subdivided flats. Deputy Financial Secretary Michael Wong, who heads the task force, did not give a direct answer. He said the current focus is to eliminate below-par subdivided flats, and the task force may propose legislation to enforce such a move. A survey will be carried out to find out the number of subdivided flats before the task force submits its recommendations in August next year. Wong was also asked if the government will utilize quarantine facilities to speed up the supply of temporary housing units. Um, at this stage, we have no intention of utilizing um, those facilities towards uh, public housing purposes, whether on a permanent or temporary basis. Development Secretary Bernadette Lin said the government is proposing that old buildings can be sold if at least 65 percent of flat owners agree to do so, instead of 80 percent as at present. This will only apply to buildings older than 70 years or to structures that are between 60 and 69 years old in districts such as Wan Chai, Yaomate and Mong Kok. Maisie Mok, HKIBC.